Welcome to Contribute Tutorial 6, presented by Graphico Creative. Uh, I've returned back to the tutorial. I found something interesting when I was looking at the, reviewing the previous tutorial 5. If we insert the image, I'll bring the image of the possums back in. I know it's quite large, I haven't modified it. That's picture 4. When you click onto that, CS5's created something quite nifty. You know when you've selected the image, it has this blue border around it. Now if we select this icon, it actually allows us to modify the brightness. So we can make the image really bright or give it a lot more contrast. But I don't want to apply any of that, so I'll cancel that. And um, for the sharpness, look at the image here now. It's just a, a screen grab I've pulled from one of the photo libraries. And it's become really sharp. So from being slightly furry to being super sharp, which is an effective tool. Again, there's no need for me to apply it. This is more for demonstration. Transform. So I want to make, I want to crop it or show part of it. It allows me to do that, which is quite effective. And that's for rotating. And this is a transform tool. So you don't actually need to change the size on your hard drive. You can all do it through Contribute CS5, which is a really nifty feature. Yeah, it's very effective. So the way you'd control whether you want to have the image left or right or middle, uh, my recommendation would be just to add in a column. In this instance, the page properties, that's fine. I'm just right clicking on my mouse now to see what other options it gives me. Table properties, oh here we are, merge cells, perfect. So I'm merging the cells. I still have a column here, which means if I want to pick up text and copy it, edit, copy, and then right click and paste it into here. Brilliant. So you can start making up the page however you want it. So it's a very nifty feature. It certainly made it a lot more flexible. And when you do create a new page, with the way that I've created the sites, the navigational bar is a, a JavaScript. The navigational bar here is um, a JavaScript file, which means if you modify that, you'll break links. But if you create a new page and type some text, or maybe even create a link on an image, no. No, it won't allow that. Yeah, just drafts of recent pages. But then, okay, even better. It allows a hotspot. You can place a, a hotspot and then link that up to, I'll use my meditation site again. Target frame default, just say possum link. Okay. And that hotspot, when you publish it live, when people hover over it, they will actually link back to the meditation site when they click on it. So it's a very effective feature. I hope you found the contribute tutorials very helpful. 